he just goes on a kind of a rampage. And so he was even making Oppenheimer references in his tweets, y'all. Like, he was basically, what he's saying is that if if they're going to go after his wife for something that he was first going after Claudine Gay about, then he is going to just destroy everyone. It's, it's, it's mutually assured destruction. It is a war of mutually assured destruction that Bill Ackman was signaling he is going to get into with all of academia. <laughs> So what's recently happened, if you haven't been following it, is that Bill Ackman's wife is a former MIT professor. Her name is Neri Oxman. She's a former MIT professor. Uh, she's what we call in academia a superstar because her, she had great crossover appeal. It wasn't just ac people in academia who knew her, but she was starting to be recognized uh, by a number of people. She even collaborated with Brad Pitt, and so there were these rumors for a while, these tabloid stories about her and Brad Pitt, but apparently that was when she was dating Ackman, so there's nothing going on with Pitt. But she was even being reported on, you know, by the tabloids for that. She started this, uh, this really fancy, fashionable uh, media lab at MIT, mingling computation with biology and, and creating new structures in this kind of crossover between nature and machine and so forth. The lady seems the lady seems like she's very smart and accomplished. I don't think that her plagiarism was a big deal. I didn't think Claudine Gay's plagiarism was a big deal. What I've been saying for a while is that there's a lot of this kind of improper or inadequate citation that occurs in academia. Probably like 90% of academics have it in their closet. I'm not saying that, you know, it justifies it to say, well, everybody does it, but I'm just saying that if you take, you know, say a, a 330 page dissertation that someone has written with all of these original ideas that they have put in it and all of this uh, research that they've done that's clearly gone into it and that they've written very, very well. And then you locate like a few instances uh, where they didn't cite properly or what have you, or they plagiarized as it said. I don't actually think that that's a big, a big deal, but at the same time, I understand the public's outrage because nobody tells the public, this is sort of like a little secret in academia, <laughs> nobody tells the public that academics themselves often don't take these rules as seriously as they do when they're teaching undergraduates. And so like I actually didn't hold students accountable for plagiarism at, when I was teaching, except if they did something egregious, but uh, I'm not going to give you zero on this. Some people might say that I was a softie for that. But I honestly, my feeling was, well, you know, if, if this is going on at the higher levels of academia, then we can't really, it's hypocritical, yes, to be uh, holding students, the undergraduates, to a different standard. So I understood the outrage that people had about the plagiarism, but it's just that I really knew that that was not, that's not the problem. The thing that, that's hurting our students on campuses, the things that, the ways in which academia is truly uh, not only falling short, but is actually destructive towards society in a number of ways, has nothing to do with plagiarizing figurehead, you know, presidents or what have you. And so what I've been saying consistently is let's refocus, let's refocus. But Bill Ackman and others, once they had something that they could really get Claudine Gay on because they were already upset with her over um, the, uh, the question of the anti-Semitic protests, and so once he had something to get her on, then he started really beating that drum as well. And so what, hap what has happened the last few days is that journalists started poking around in Bill Ackman's wife's closet, so to speak, and lo and behold, completely unsurprisingly, they found that she has plagiarized, she plagiarized multiple times in her dissertation, and honestly, they just started looking. So I would anticipate they're going to find a lot of other stuff. But she plagiarized multiple times in her dissertation. I understand some people are saying, well, it was mostly in the citations and those don't matter. Okay, whatever. So here's the thing, though. People poked around in Bill Ackman's wife's closet and they found that she, she did some plagiarizing. And then all of a sudden, you know, Bill spins around on Twitter and he has this kind of like Twitter meltdown and he starts threatening he, start, he starts by threatening the MIT faculty, and he said that he was going to create, um, uh, or he was going to hire people to go through all of the writings of all of the MIT faculty, all of the, all the college faculty, and expose all of them publicly for plagiarism who plagiarized. 
And then in another tweet, he expanded beyond that and he said that he was going to create a company basically devoted to exposing plagiarism in all American universities and so they were going to go through the publicate they were obviously using AI they were going to he wants to go through the publications um, and writings of all faculty everywhere and expose all of these professors for plagiarism now I know there are a lot of people who might be saying well, that's great. I mean, you know, haven't we been complaining this whole time about how um, there are all these deep problems in academia? So let's just burn it all to the ground. Well, that's not going to happen. If you think that all of these um, administrators and deans at all of these colleges, many of whom also used to be form used to be faculty and have plagiarism in their backgrounds, if you think they're going to fire like all of their professors. <laughs> You got another thing coming. So it's really just going to be a waste of Bill Ackman's time. It's just going to show that, yeah, there's a lot of plagiarizing. But here's my issue. He didn't come up with this idea because he really, because Bill Ackman really thinks that plagiarism is a horrible problem. And plagiar some minor plagiarism by professors is a horrible problem in society. And it needs to be addressed. He did this because he realized that he had inadvertently humiliated his wife and at least temporarily greatly harmed her reputation and instead of like owning that that like yeah may gee I, I fucked up maybe I should have checked with her before I started really le leaning into the plagiarism stuff about Claudine Gay instead of sort of owning that he just goes on a kind of a rampage and so he was even making Oppenheimer references in his tweets y'all like he was basically what he's saying is that if if they're gonna go after his wife for something that he was first going after Claudine Gay about, then he is going to just destroy everyone. It's, it's, it's mutually assured destruction. It is a war of mutually assured destruction that Bill Ackman was signaling he is going to get into with all of academia. <laughs> so, um, and, and I'm not necessarily saying that's like all bad because look, I've been saying this whole time, people should be, should focus on what's going on in academia there are all these problems and stuff but I just wish it were I just wish that the focus could actually be on the real problems that matter and I feel like now we're in this sort of this stupid tabloidized situation where okay once again it's just about sensationalism and not actually getting to the real problems and so that's you know that is my that continues to be my disappointment with this entire discourse surrounding academia and Bill Ackman as of late is that it's getting all of this attention and it's getting all these people stirred up and everything and it's great theater it is great Twitter theater I mean the size of that tweet that he put out last night I was joking around on Twitter and Instagram about it but it takes minutes to scroll through it I'm not even talking about reading it I'm just talking about scrolling through it and this was the one where he was talking about Oppenheimer and he threatened the entire faculty of like all schools everywhere. Oh, and then he, he also, he has now seen the light on plagiarism in that he recognizes that there are different types of plagiarism and that a lot of plagiarism done by academics is not really that serious. Well, it's amazing how it takes having one's own wife's academic work examined before one actually recognizes that hey maybe a lot of this plagiarism stuff is minor this improper or inadequate citation or what have you I mean that's the thing that gets me too is that it is hypocrisy and I know that Bill Ackman he is he is claiming that his wife should have been off limits that basically she's a civilian and that he is as he put it the protagonist that's what he said in his uh, in one of his recent Twitter messages this morning is that he is a protagonist and so of course it's okay to go after the protagonist but it's not okay to go after the civilians it's not okay to go after the family yes I would generally agree with that but here's where the Bill Ackman claim really falls apart for me is that Neri Oxman is a public intellectual she is as I said earlier she is an academic superstar she is a crossover star in into the popular realm and she is, has been for years and years and years now she has been putting herself out there as a public intellectual and these writings, you know, like the, the, the dissertation and then, you know, these other publications, these are all things that she, you know, knew were going to be published. And 
so to me, you know, one of the claims that Bill Ackman has been making is that, up to this point, of course, is that plagiarism is a really serious offense. I mean, he even said it. Somebody cut and pasted earlier what he said about Claudine Gay when the plagiarism stuff was coming out and then what he's saying now, now that it's his wife. But before, he was saying it was a very serious offense and basically, you know, more or less, it completely destroyed the credibility of someone in academia to have plagiarized multiple times, et cetera, et cetera. And yet, we're just supposed to then follow a completely different mindset when it comes to the plagiarism, so to speak, of his wife, who has also put herself out there as an intellectual, as a public intellectual. I just, it's just a little too rich for me. It is. I have sympathy for the idea that the family should be off limits, but also... He is just not, I don't feel like he has reacted to this reasonably. He won't even concede that there's even a hint of, of hypocrisy. And his claim was a larger claim about plagiarism and about what a serious offense it is for an academic. Several weeks ago, when he and others really were sounding the drum, and I understand he wasn't the one who started it, but he jumped on board and then he was using his million plus platform to put to put out all this stuff about Claudine Gay and attack her for the plagiarism. Um, Weeks ago when this started happening, I thought, gee, his wife is a big time professor and knowing what I know about academia, I bet that she has some skeletons in her closet because it is so widespread, these kinds of citation errors or plagiarism, whatever you want to call it, it's, it's minor generally, but it is so widespread. And I thought, surely the guy has asked her or surely he's done an AI inventory of his wife's work and he knows that she has not plagiarized because it's just such an obvious thing to me that if you're a big guy like him and you're going after you bring down the president of Harvard and piss off a lot of people over primarily pr plagiarism that was the thing that brought her down you know people are gonna come after your wife who's a big professor if she's got that stuff in her closet um, so yeah, so if you want to be entertained, start following Bill Ackman's Twitter and just look at what has been unfolding there. Uh, whether you love him or you hate him or you support him or you don't, or you're in the middle like me and ambivalent. But if you look at his Twitter, it is, it is a, it is amusing. It is definitely amusing. But what is sad, as I said, is that the real problems in academia, most of them, with the exception of DEI, they have not gotten nearly the attention that they deserve. And all the oxygen is being sucked up now with all of this interpersonal drama and all, and these, these plagiarism witch hunts and these gotcha games. And um, to the extent that I've participated in that, I really, I've really tried in my videos even though I know that to be successful YouTube videos, they have to be loud and crass and in your face and, oh, Claudine Gay, forced to resign. But I really try in my videos, if you watch them, I really try to be consistent and say that Claudine Gay is not the issue. Plagiarism, this, this sort of minor monkey business plagiarism is not the issue. I don't think college protests are even the issue. You know, let's look at the issues. So I invite you, those of you who are new to my work, look at, look at the issues. And I've been laying them out in my videos. All right, everybody, appreciate you. Bye-bye.